Hey guys, I'm Nick. Today I'm going to take a few minutes, I'm going to talk to you about what is in my tackle box for 2020. Now it's not much different to 2019, it's not much different to 2018. It's all natural stuff that catches fish. The fish have not started feeding on different things. I don't carry a lot of stuff, I keep it simple. Simple is proven to be very, very effective in the long run. It's how we catch fish with clients. I'm going to go over terminal tackle, I'll touch on soft plastics, and then we'll move into hard baits. Let's go. First, we're gonna talk about the tackle box itself, and that's this guy. It's not very big, regular old Plano uh, waterproof box, never have any issues with it. I think it costs like $10. You don't need anything fancy, crazy, or elaborate. I take out all the trays, there's a divider here, and that's it. Move into terminal tackle real quick. We'll talk about fluorocarbon and hooks. All right, we're gonna to touch on fluorocarbon real quick. There's a billion different types of fluorocarbon. Use the one you've been using. I recommend the Seaguar stuff. I use it in the 15 pound variety. It has never let me down. I have no reason to change it. Use what you're familiar with. Use what you're comfortable with. Sometimes these things will knot differently. Some of the fluorocarbon prefers different style of knots. So don't switch anything up if you already have a set plan or a style. Just do what you're doing if it's working. If it's not working, get some of this stuff. Links for all of this stuff will be in the description to make your guys' life easy. 15 pound fluorocarbon. Here in Northwest Florida, we have super clean water. So my goal was to get out there, have you know as invisible as possible connection between my braid and my fishing lure. And this stuff has served us well over the years. Uh, I love it, never lets me down. All the clients like it because well, it hasn't let them down either. We're gonna move on to treble hooks and jig heads real fast. When we're talking about treble hooks, we're gonna keep it super simple again. We're going out there with clients, we don't have the ability to change lures and change hooks 73 times because one may be better for trout or one may be better for redfish. So we use these right here, they're VMCs, it's 9626CB, they make an NB as well. We actually use the 9626NBs, which are BN, sorry, which stands for black nickel. It's corrosion resistance. We use those on all of the lures that we package and ship off of our website that Josh Custom paints. Those all use quality hooks, they're 4X hooks. They serve us well, these are size sixes. We're fishing inshore, so really we're using a three to four inch bait, either whether it's the jerk baits or the top waters, it's all somewhere between two and three quarters and four inches. They use the same size hooks. You won't have any issues. You don't need to carry a huge variety. You need these guys. You need some number three split rings. These are owner hyper wire silver links. Wow, so owner hyper wire split rings. If I can't talk. Number threes, they do great. We use these on our sheep's head jigs. We use them on our hard baits. They are wonderful. They're strong. They're rated for 45 pounds. That's a ridiculous number. You're not going to break that. Also, we sell those on the website. All that good stuff. Everything you need will be right there and easy to access in the description. We're going to move into soft plastics and jig heads. We're going to talk about the terminal tackle with the soft plastic. Now, these are the mini stick baits that we started using last fall. This is the ghost shrimp color. I recommend you guys use nothing but natural colors. As you can see in this little bag, how I carry them, nothing fancy or special. There's a variety of natural colors in there. The whitish is in there, the UV bubble, the UV's in there, green's in there. Natural colors because the fish are used to feeding on natural objects. You don't need to see a pink one. They don't give a crap about it. It's not changing their lives. Now, we have this rigged up with the 5.30 second jig head. We obviously sell these in 5.30 seconds and quarter ounce. A lot of guys like the heavier one from my preference, I like the 530 seconds one. The reason is simple. This has no tail like the paddle tails. Now we sell some swim baits, right? But this thing outfishes the swim baits, the paddle tails every single day. It's unbelievable. But it doesn't need extra weight because there's no tail. So there's nothing to catch in the wind when you cast it. It doesn't fall super slow because the tail's umbrella in its way down. It just darts to the bottom full speed. So 530 seconds is perfect. I don't even have any quarter ounce ones on there because you can just wait half a second longer and it's on the bottom if you're fishing deep water. Keep that in mind. The 530 seconds cast great. It, when it hits the water, it doesn't splash as much, doesn't spook as many fish if you're fishing shallow and that stuff is important. The hooks are super strong. We've been doing nothing but sight fishing with this without any issues and the trout and redfish absolutely love it. Let's move on to soft jerk bait. All right, guys, this is a soft jerk bait. Zoom's made a variety of them, and every company produces one. We bought a mold. I used a plastic that is more durable than the Zoom stuff. They hold up great, and they're easy to fish. Now, I like to fish it on a 5-aught. People are like, why? All you need is a 3-aught. Great, that's wonderful. 
I'm not in it for the size of the hook. I'm in it from the weight of this hook. Now this is a very you know buoyant type of bait. It doesn't sink very quickly because there's no weight to it. I mean, it has some weight, but nothing gonna sink in the water column. This little difference between a three aught and a five aught is huge. It will get this bait down in the water column so much easier. One of the main questions you get about this is how to rig it. So watch, it's easy. Just like this, come in here, right in the nose, about a quarter inch, come down, pop that up here, spin it around, that'll sit up there like so. Come in the hook slot, poke yourself in the finger, boom. Push forward, perfectly weedless every time, super easy to use. The fish absolutely love this. Once the grass starts floating in the center of the sound, you have to have this because it will make the difference between you being able to fish and not being able to fish. Soft jerk bait, check them out. If you don't have any, you need to have them and they should always be in your tackle box. They really make a difference. It could save your entire fishing trip. All right, now we're gonna move into hard baits. There's a bug there. We're in the garage. We're gonna move into hard baits. We're gonna talk about them. Over the winter, we spent a ton of time with Josh customizing these baits or looking for baits that had a different performance and finding the perfect blank. Well, we found three of them. Now we haven't found a top water yet, so I'm gonna start with top water. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I've been telling you for years. The Jackal Bonnie is the best top water I've ever used. It's super loud, crazy. The fish absolutely hate it. You can see this thing is all kinds of beat up. This one has marks all over it as well. They're fantastic lures, I love them. The only problem is you can no longer source them in America, you have to find them on eBay, they're gonna ship to you from Japan, about 23 to $25 a piece. They're worth the money, you're only gonna buy it once and then you're gonna use it for months upon months. The first one I ever used out of the box, I used for eight straight months before it finally failed. That's a long time, I fish every day, eight months is a lifetime compared to some of you guys going fishing and it didn't break. So, check it out, Jack Bonnie. I won't put a link in the description because you're gonna need to get on eBay. You're gonna have to find it on eBay. There's really no other choice. Now let's move on to these jerk baits. There's three of them. Oh, bubble. We spent the winter with these things, right? This was one of the first baits that we decided that was good. It was great. It was durable and it produces fantastic in winter because it's a small profile. Now this bait sinks, but as it sinks, it does this little shimmer like so. You gotta fish it slow. Throw it out there. One, two, three. Just move it, you don't gotta move it far, just two inches. It's designed to just wiggle. It's not gonna jump over here or jump over there. It's just gonna go doop, 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 doop. And the fish love it. In the winter time, the bait fish are not always moving a lot when the water is super, super cold. So this bait is perfect because it's not gonna move all over the place. It's gonna stop you, it's gonna slow you down. If you work it too fast, it's gonna come to the surface and you don't want that. Count it down, let it wiggle, and then just move it a few inches at a time. And it'll legitimately just bounce back and forth and then it'll shimmy and the fish will crush it on the paws. If you're having problems catching fish, you need to slow down, you need to use a bait like this. It'll produce fish. We did a video on it a while back, and just catching fish every cast. It's a great lure. We've sell it in two different colors, this color and a purple color. Obviously, I prefer everything that looks like a mullet because well, there's mullet everywhere, and I've never seen a purple bait fish, but people love purple, and somehow purple outproduced this thing in the middle of winter. It happens. I prefer the natural colors, but don't be afraid to throw the purple one if you are interested, all right? Not a bad lure. Now, we wanted a bait for spring. I love throwing a jerk bait. I don't throw them a lot of time with clients because they got treble hooks and they hook me, they hook themselves. It is dangerous. But that stuff being said, we settled on two, two different baits. This one has been beat to crap because it just went into production full time and I've only had one. So look at that, the paint's coming off, beat to death. It's been in fish's throats, it's been all over the place. All right, they absolutely wore it out. It's a great bait. So let's talk about the difference between these two. We first started using this one probably mid-January. We were in the back of this creek. We were way up this creek in Escambia, like way up in the middle of nowhere. There was a bunch of small little bait running around, but we weren't producing any fish on that jerk bait over there or the soft plastic, but you could see them actively feeding. So I switched out to this little guy. The first redfish I caught was 24 inches. I followed it up with a 19 inch trout and I kept catching fish on it. It sinks, it's erratic, and it's a very small profile. It casts really, really well, and the fish really like it. Durability has not been an issue with it, which is a something that you find in the very small jerk baits. We didn't throw it at bull reds, we threw it at speckled trout, and they absolutely loved it. So this will be in the tackle box all year. It's gonna produce unbelievable in the center of the sound. But remember, when it doesn't produce, because there's too much floating grass, you need to throw that soft jerk bait. Now let's move on to my favorite bait. 
This is the favorite bait in the tackle box outside of the top water. Obviously, I love the top water. We have an entire apparel line based on always throw top water. But this guy is amazing. It floats. It's a smaller profile. It's wide. It's fat. It looks like a mullet. And they absolutely wear it out. The reason it's so beat up is Josh just started putting these things into production. And I only have one, all right? So he's painting a bunch of them. When you watch this video, they'll be on the website. They'll be available to buy. We already have a bunch of orders for it. That were pre-orders that we really didn't advertise. This guy saw the photo and we're like, man, I gotta have that. So it's gonna be awesome. Those little eyes look crazy. They are awesome. This thing has a phenomenal, phenomenal action to it. Remember, I've talked about it tons and tons of times that pro profile and action are far more important than color. And that's the case. This is a mullet pattern. There's a mullet pattern on every single jerk bait. It's the exact same. Once we find a perfect top water, it will have this exact paint job on it because there are mullet everywhere and you should be keying in on fishing around mullet. If you haven't figured that out yet, that's the best tip from watching this whole video. Key, on, key in on mullet, you will catch more fish. This guy, it floats. It's got a big old lip on it. It's gonna dive down to two feet, that's it. It's gonna go left and right hardcore. If you don't know how to fish a jerkbait, find a video, slow down, and learn how to fish a jerkbait. You don't gotta move it super, super quick. You gotta move it, boop, boop, and you wanna do it with slack in a line. That's gonna allow this lure to jump over here and jump over, look at all those teeth marks on that. Oh, got distracted. All right, it's gonna jump all over the place, left, right, every which direction. As Soon as you pause it, it's gonna stop. That's what a jerkbait does, it jerks to a stop. like. And then it'll right itself and then it'll lift up to the surface instantly. I got a video of a fish absolutely crushing it on the surface. I'm not going to show you it because it shows exactly where I was fishing and then there'll be 15 of you guys out there trying to catch the same fish. This thing is awesome. I'm super excited about it. It's going to produce a ton of awesome fish for us this year. You're going to be able to fish it in some super shallow grass and sound because it floats. So you can just pop, pop, it'll levitate and then it'll pop back up to the surface. Well, suspend is really the word, not levitate, but whatever. And then it'll rise back to the surface. The fish are going to wear it out when it lifts. Dying bait fish in a fish tank, they float for a reason. You ever seen the ones like the Walmart fish tanks when you were a kid? To be like, oh, that one's dying. That's what it does. Floats back to the surface. It gets crushed. That's my entire... My wife is laughing. You're messing up. What are you doing over there? No, I was kidding. All right. That's my entire tackle box. That's it. There's nothing special in there. It is super simple. That's it. Everyone thinks we have these magic tricks, that we have this crazy whatever. It's just about being in the right place at the right time. Those simple baits, the stick bait, the soft jerk bait, and the three various styles of jerk baits, hard jerk baits, are going to help you catch more fish. Order that top water from Japan. It's worth every single penny. You never need to go buy anything else. It is fantastic. Those lures will show up in Brocks and Outdoors if you live here locally. If you live across the country, they'll be available on our website. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section or shoot me an email at nick at nabarkayakfishing.com. I appreciate you guys taking a watch. Have a great day. Taking the time to watch. I didn't say time. It's whatever. No one's still watching that video anyways.